Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about concealed carry accessories. So, you know, you got the gun, you got the holster, you made the decision there. Let's talk a little bit about ancillary equipment. What else could you or should you carry when you're carrying concealed? So, I want to give you some considerations for that. Obviously, you've got your primary sidearm or firearm that you're carrying, whether that's on a, a hip, inside the waistband, an ankle, a pocket. We've talked about this before, but what else do you need to go along with that? I always recommend to have at least one full complement of ammunition for whatever system you're carrying. So for instance, if I'm carrying a uh, semi-automatic pistol, I've got one spare magazine at least at a minimum with me. And if I may be carrying a, uh, a small revolver or something like that, I could carry a speed strip. And a speed strip is simply a device that holds uh, some revolver rounds. So these are pretty handy. Not very speedy, but they're called speed strips. Uh, so you want to at least have one complement of ammo on you. And that's what I'd recommend for kind of optimal carry. Obviously, the more the better, but we got to be realistic here with concealed carry and not bulk up too much. Now with that, with spare magazines and extra ammo, what you're going to have to do is be a little bit creative of how you're carrying. There's a lot of creative products out there that are great uh, that will aid in carrying a magazine. For instance, here's one for the single stack 9mm. This is an inside the waistband magazine pouch. So I could actually carry this appendix right next to my appendix gun. I could carry it off body, you know, back at the, uh, about at the 8 o'clock position if I'd like on my non-dominant side. So that's a pretty good example. Of course, there's a lot of outside the waistband magazine pouches. Here's a great one. This one is by a &R Design, one of my favorite holster manufacturers. So I can actually have my pistol in here and my spare magazine all in one uh, all in one device right here. So I could actually carry that appendix. I've got my pistol, I've got my magazine, pretty slick little system right here. So that works out pretty good. So something to consider. Bottom line, you really want to think about having additional ammunition on you. And again, what I'd recommend is at least one complement of ammunition to reload your gun. And not just reloads, if you were to have maybe a malfunction or something and you really need to clear it out aggressively and maybe you lose that magazine or your extra shells, you want to have some uh, ammo to uh, get that loaded back up again. So you're, you're back in action. Other things to think about is going to be uh, some type of light, some type of white light. Highly recommend that you carry some type of light device with you, a flashlight or a pistol mounted light, something to that effect when you're out there. Keep in mind, you know, 50% of the time, at least it's dark out. And anytime you're inside, it instantly has the ability to be dark. If the lights go out, the power goes out, something like that. And just generally speaking, lights are very handy tools for just administrative type of functions, seen in the dark, things like that. But absolutely, you find yourself in a altercation or some type of potentially deadly situation it's very important that you identify any potential threats. We certainly don't want to be drawn down and definitely don't want to be shooting at anything that we cannot positively identify. And that's where a good quality, high output white light is going to help you out. And you want to get a white light that's going to be specific to defense or specific to a, a tactical light. Something that's really pushing out a high amount of lumens that's going to be somewhat blinding and very bright. Um, and typically these days we're going to recommend an LED based light as opposed to an incandescent and there's just so many advantages with LED runtime brightness they stay cool to the touch things like that but a good quality flashlight and I guess that goes into how do you carry it well a lot of the quality flashlights like this little surefire right here uh, has a little pocket clip on it so you could actually carry in a pocket something I carry a lot I, I really like it this little ankle device right here basically it's an ankle safe I'll carry that on my other ankle uh, my right ankle that is and I can have my flashlight in it spare magazine Magazines. I could actually put, you know, uh, a, a small wallet in there if I wanted to. So it's a great little tool uh, to have on you to kind of help hold hold equipment like this light. Also, the manufacturers are getting pretty uh, pretty slick nowadays, and there's a lot of low-profile weapons-mounted lights. So you can actually, these days, have a concealed carry pistol that has a rail on it, and uh, have a little light on it, like this little Surefire XC1, pushing out a whole lot of light. Boy, I'll tell you what, that thing is just slim. And there's holsters that will work with your, your specific pistol model and this light. Here's a good example right here, another one from a Design. So this is for a SIG P320 with this light. 
light. So that's a real slick system. So inside the waistband, appendix carry, got a fairly small pistol with a white light. What a great option. Now, the weapons mounted light does not substitute a hand mounted, a handheld light, in my opinion, because you certainly wouldn't want to use your pistol light for administrative functions. So it's nice to have a, a, uh, a handheld light as well. But, you know, at a minimum, if you had one on your pistol for identifying threat, you know, that'll get the job done. So things to consider there. Some other things to consider maybe is some type of tool with you. And when I say tool, that could be a knife, it could be a multi-tool, something like that. I'm a big fan of utility, so I like things that can do more than one purpose. For instance, here's a knife right here. It's a great quality knife and I can use it for administrative functions, maybe open something, maybe cut a seatbelt, or uh, you know, just I could use it as a defensive weapon if need be on a last ditch. Also has a little screwdriver, a little cutter, uh, seatbelt cutter, and a little glass punch in it. So it's a handy little tool right here. Uh, one of the tools I probably carry more than any other is a little multi-tool. This happens to be a Leatherman, but I've got pliers on it, I've got screwdrivers on it, and of course I have a knife on it. So these things are handy, they're real slick, and I find myself using these all the time. So not just thinking in the defensive aspect or the tactical aspect, but just being prepared and having tools to do jobs out there like lights, uh, tools, uh, guns, spare ammo, things like that. Kind of putting it all together is important. So there's some things to think about with concealed carry. Now I know that's a lot to a lot to handle right there and you're thinking boy I already got the gun now I need a, a light and spare ammo and I need a tool with me and all that good stuff you know these are just recommendations certain attires and certain uh, certain places you go and what you're dressed in is going to really dictate how much gear you're going to carry and what's practical you really just got to find what works for you at a minimum we've talked about it before a minimum EDC or minimum everyday carry is your firearm you know if you can add a spare magazine to that or a white light even better if you got a tool on you that will get the job done. So just some things to think about with ancillary equipment for everyday concealed carry.